All right, everyone, I'm here to give you my second Breaking Bad review of the day. This is probably going to be the final one, but I might review another one. Who knows? Um, and this one's season two. I don't know why I, black, I blanked out. Episode four, and it's called Down, uh, and it came out on March 29th, 2009. Um, and it starts out, remember, like, I think this is how the season started out. They showed this bear that was in the pool of the water, and now we kind of went back to that. And they, they, he, this person takes it out with a net, um, and he puts it inside an evidence file, and this person has evidences of, like, wallets, um, everything. I think this is the case with Walter... How he's been cooking and stuff. So this is probably Hank's house. But who knows um, what this is. Um, they're slowly. We're going to slowly probably find out. As m more and more each episode. There was no Hank in this episode anyways. No Hank or Marie. So. Um, but yeah that's kind of how it started. Then it cut to the theme song. And then. Um, it starts uh, out with Jesse. And now he rides a motorcycle, um, or a dirt bike, I think it's only a motorcycle though, and he goes into a, a sh store, and we see Walter, um, and they're like pretending to look at stuff as they're talking, and uh, Jesse's like, so when can we start cooking again? Um, and Walter says we can't cook for a while because uh, if he disappears too, too much, his wife will get worried again. And Walter and Jesse's pissed about this because um, he has like no money right now. So Walter gives him 600 bucks um, and says that they're going to have no contact um, until uh, they start up again. And during this, a policeman had come in and uh, Jesse was about to leave, but Walter says, no, I leave first. So they leave um, and Walter is kind of... I guess, kissing up to the family now since he's his disappearance. Um, because um, Walter um, was uh, making breakfast for them now. Uh, he was even out of bed. He's like, I'm here making breakfast. And uh, he made eggs. And they, he was actually being very much like a family man uh, now. So then... Uh, when Walter Jr. goes to school, um, Walter t is just having a conversation. He tells uh, Skylar about the, the, how this is new um, author thing that's going to go on right now. And he'd like to go with, where they're with her. And then he tells them about the phone call. How that second phone. He says that it was just his normal phone, but it was in, like an alarm to take his medications. And uh, it sounds like his normal intone because he doesn't know how to change it because of the complicated technologies. And doing this, she got in the car and left. Um, so then he tries to call her phone and it vibrates, which is the and that was the worst vibration I ever heard of in life. Um, and uh, it was kind of odd, um, but it was good because it gets better. Um, so then Jesse is at some is um at like a business meet at, in like the in the big lawyers thing and his parents evict him from his house um and he's pretty pissed about it because uh obviously it's his house and uh we found out he had an aunt that got sick and died who owned the house before and they said uh that they get that um he gets um that he that uh he should uh that they he she left the house for him, and um the parents are like no they left the house for us and we agreed to let you stay there but you're dragging us down with you talks about how Hank visited them uh to talk about Jesse um and um Jesse only has seventy two hours to leave and he's pretty pissed about this which I don't blame him. So then Skylar comes home, and um, Walter's still there, and uh, he's like, just they're kind of having casual conversations, talks about uh, how he's going to go back to the cancer meetings, and she's like, good. Um, he asked where he she was today, 
And she just says, I went out. She doesn't really give an answer. And then she goes into the bathroom, I guess, as an excuse so he doesn't, she doesn't have to talk to him anymore. Because you can tell she's pissed off at him. Um, and then, um, what else happens next? Um, Walter, uh, Jesse is still sleeping and, uh, his mother comes in and, uh, she's like, I called you several times. She's like, I've been meaning to get in contact. Maybe this is a way of a new start. I can take, uh, my, com I can start taking business classes on the computer. But she's like, no, we don't, we don't, we, 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 we don't want you, we don't care how you ruin your life, but we're not, I don't really want to talk to you anymore, this is beyond talking. So then we find, we see people taking this stuff away, and Jesse's pissed about this, saying, what did you do for it? I was there, I made her meals, I took care of her, and you didn't do anything, and then she slaps him. Um, and that was kind of all quiet after that, so I thought that was, uh, some good stuff. Um, so then, uh, the next morning... Walter is cooking breakfast. Um, he's making omelets, and this kid comes up. I think his name. They don't. They might not. Uh, one and. Uh, Damn it! I can't even remember. I don't even. Know, I don't even know his name. Come on! But yeah, Jesse changed. But Walter Jr. doesn't use Walter Jr. He uses a different name when he talks to his friends. And Walter's like, "Why did he, uh?" Ask talks to his wife about it, and he's like, "Why? Won't he, what's wrong with Walter Jr.? Why is he using a different name?" Um, Ty, he uses Ty, um, I think it is, no, Flynn, he uses Flynn, that's, it. that's the name, and, um, she's like, maybe she, maybe you heard, well, you really heard her when you disappeared like that, so then Walter offers the omelet, and Skyler's like, well, thanks, I'm going out, though, um, and then the phone rings, and Jesse calls him, and he's like, I told you, I, we're not gonna be in contact, I'll call you, and then he, when Skyler walks in, he plays it off like it's the pay-per-view channels calling him, like it's a ad, and Walter's like, can you at least tell me where you're going? And Skylar says, I'm going out for a few hours. I'll be back. So then she leaves. And Jesse calls again. And uh, Walter's like, what part of no contact do you not understand? And Jesse says that tries to tell, says that they're going to kick me out of my house. He needs his half of the money. And Walter's like, I bet you smoked it all, didn't you? Um, I told you, you got your 600 bucks. And um, Jesse says, they're going to kick Yes, I know, but that was before they kicked me out of the house. So then uh, he ends up the phone, tries to call again, and Walter doesn't answer. He goes on a rampage, put, dumps the omelets into the trash, and unhooks the phone. And then um, Jesse starts smashing the phone, and the and the guys take it away. And, and then he goes on a rampage says, yeah, take these ice cubes too, guys. So now Jesse has no place to go. He tries to go uh, over to his friend Pete's house. And his wife didn't see when he came home, didn't see ha happy about it. And I think they came up with this excuse like the in-laws are staying, so he can't stay there. Tries to call his friends, but he has no place to stay. So uh, what happens, and then they take his bike away, which was, I think people stole his bike. And we saw this homeless guy that was there who thought he was Captain America, but who was probably on uh, some drugs or something. Um, so he climbs the fence to Badger's cousin's house. Who took the guy that took the RV, and he stays in there. Well, he break. He actually. Well, he went on the tunnel parlor, and uh, it breaks. It, he breaks the roof and falls in, and he gets blue. I think the toilet water was blue. So then, um, he stays there. He even puts on the face mask. No, not the face. The uh, oxygen mask, um, and sleeps. And he's kind of crying too, because his life pretty much just fell apart. And you know, his parents. Because uh, his parents took the house. They they own 50-50 of it. So then, um... Walt, the next morning, Walter's just sitting there. Skylar goes off again and leaves. Um, and Walter Jr.'s like, where's mom? And he's like, she went out. And asks where breakfast is. And Walter's like, hey, let's go do something. And he's like, like what? Something fun. And he's going to teach him... And he teaches him how to drive the car. Um... This was a good father-son moment, I guess. It was kind of stressful, though, because uh, Walter, 
was kind of being a strict teacher. And Walter Jr., I didn't even think he could drive, but I guess he can. But Walter Jr., um... Is using both legs to drive because it's easier, but Walter's like, uh, there's a way to do it, do it the easy way, but there's also to do it right. So he makes him use one foot. Then eventually he has trouble stopping though. He kind of goes fast and he goes right into like a, um, a cone. Um, and Walter's like, it's okay, it's okay. So then uh, Badger's cousin wakes up and um, finds Jesse. And wants his money now, but while Jesse's like, I can get you the money, I can get you the the stuff, but no, he, then he threatens to sell all his uh meth stuff, and uh, Je Jesse's like, no, this is all I have left, that's all I have. So then uh, he throws him out, and Jesse then eventually steals the RV. He drive, he climbs back over, drives it through the fence, and I guess Spazio's cousin isn't really too concerned about stopping him because if he calls the police. He's pretty much going to be uh, arrested for holding over a fugitive, I guess. Um, so then, um, Walter's at home, back at home, and Skylar wakes up, and he wants to talk about what's had happened. At first, they kind of do small talk. It was kind of awkward, though. He talks about how uh, he had a dream that he owned, like, a bike shop in Ireland. But then uh, he apologizes for always wanting time for himself and for pretty much not being a good partner marriage partner and she says he wants he says he still wants to be in contact and uh she says uh okay thank you and she goes and then he goes and anything else he's like and then he's like what else do you want me to say uh, i'm pouring out my heart heart you that you want me to say that i'm not having an affair because i'm not just ask me and i'm not and she's afraid that she won't tell him the truth and he's like yeah i will um and then she uh he says uh, that we're not going to leave until we talk about this. And then um, Skylar says that he's had enough of what Walter's doing. Had enough of these disappearances. These uh, breakfasts that try to make everything okay when really it's not. She she wants Walter to tell him what's going on right now. And she's like, like what? What do you want me to say? Because he, he acts like he doesn't know. But he does know. And then um, Skylar drives away. And, like, and then he, before, he's like, do you know how much I've done for this family? And then we see Jesse is parked the RV at the house. I kind of figured this would happen. Um, and Walter comes in and says, "What? I, do you, are you stupid or something? Honestly. Because he, he thinks uh, that it's stupid that he just parked the RV at his house. And what he's going to tell his wife. And uh, he says he apologizes. But he says he wants his half of the money. And Walter's like, your half. It was never our half. Well, and he just kind of goes off on him. says, what were we partners? And I do all the work and you're just... Junk, junkie, you're just a drug addict. Um, and then uh, Jesse and him kind of get into a little bit of a fight, and then they stop. And well, he he lets Jesse in and gives him his half of the money, and uh, says he wants some breakfast. So uh, I don't really think they were they were fighting. I think Walter was just letting out his frustrations. So that's kind of what happened. And then uh, we find I think we find out where Skylar goes. Uh, we think we see her by. A pack of cigarettes and smoke them. Yeah, so uh, this isn't a good thing because uh, the baby she's pregnant, so that's not really healthy for the baby to for her to be smoking. Um, and that was the end of the episode. I thought this was uh some awesome sh shit. This was an awesome episode. Uh, I actually felt bad for both Walter and Jesse because their worlds kind of came crashing down. Walter and his wife are like not. I'm in a fight right now, and uh, he's trying to make everything right, um, but it doesn't seem to be working, um, which really I don't really think he is. I think he's trying to make everything right uh, temporarily, and then he's going to be the way he was before, where he, dis where he goes back to cooking meth with uh, Jesse, and Jesse pretty much just lost his house. He lost. He doesn't have anywhere to go right now, so he's screwed. Um, so yeah, that's just the way it is, and... Uh, why don't imagine what Walter Jr. is thinking? Because now his mom's disappearing. His parents are in a big fight. So we'll see what happens with this. Uh, maybe I'll watch another one if I have the time. But we'll see. But I'll, I'm going to watch. I'm, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, since I haven't been reviewing them, maybe I'll just watch another one.